A V twin engine, also called a V2 engine, is a two cylinder internal combustion engine where the cylinders are arranged in a V configuration. Although widely associated with motorcycles, V twin engines are also produced for the power equipment industry and are often found in riding lawnmowers, small tractors, and electric generators. Topic History Gottlieb Daimler built a V twin engine in 1889. It was used as a stationary power plant and to power boats. It was also used in Daimler's second automobile, the 1889 Stallradwagen steel-wheeled car. The engine was also manufactured under license in France by Panard et Levisor. In November 1902 the Princeps Autocar Co. UK advertised a V-twin-engined motorcycle, and in 1903 V-twins were produced by other companies, including the 90-degree XL All made by Eclipse Motor and Cycle Co. in the UK. Also, in 1903, Glenn Curtis in the United States, and NSU in Germany began building V-twin engines for use in their respective motorcycles. Peugeot, which had used Panard-built Daimler V-twins in its first cars, made its own V-twin engines in the early 20th century. A Norton motorcycle powered by a Peugeot V-twin engine won the first Isle of Man Tourist Trophy twin-cylinder race in 1907. Configurations Topic Crankshaft configuration Most V-twin engines have a single crankpin, which is shared by both connecting rods. The connecting rods may sit side by side with offset cylinders, or they may be fork and blade items with cylinders in the same plane without an offset. Some notable exceptions include the Moto Guzzi 500cc with 120 degrees V angle and 180 degrees crank pin offset that Stanley Woods rode to win the 1935 Isle of Man TT, the 1983 Honda Shadow 750, claimed as being the first perfectly balanced narrow angle V twin by using an offset dual pin crankshaft, and the 1987 Suzuki VX800, 45 degrees V angle with 45 degrees crank pin offset in USA and 75 degrees crank pin offset for the rest of the world. V angles Generally, a two-cylinder engine with the cylinders arranged at any angle greater than 0 degrees and less than 180 degrees may be classified as a V-twin, although an angle that approaches zero is not practical. Despite Ducati referring to its 90-degree twin-cylinder engine as an L-twin, with the front cylinder nearly horizontal and the rear cylinder almost vertical, there is no technical distinction between V-twin and L-twin engines. Assuming correct counterweighting, a 90-degree V-twin will achieve perfect primary balance. However, the 90-degree layout will produce an uneven firing interval, with the second cylinder firing 270 degrees of crankshaft rotation after the first cylinder, followed by 450 degrees of rotation before the first cylinder again fires. A V-twin with an angle of less than 90 degree cannot achieve perfect primary balance unless offset crankpins, a balance shaft, or both are employed to counteract reciprocating forces. However, the firing interval will not be as uneven as with the 90-degree layout. Orientations The terms longitudinal engine and transverse engine are most often used to refer to the crankshaft orientation, however, some sources, most prominently Moto Guzzi, use the terminology in the opposite way. A Moto Guzzi technical services representative tried to explain to LA Times columnist Susan Carpenter that Moto Guzzi engines are called transverse because the engine is mounted with the crankshaft oriented front to back instead of left to right. In spite of this, it could be assumed that those who call V-twin motorcycle engines transverse when they are mounted with the crankshaft front to back and the cylinders sticking out the sides are saying that to them, the engine's axis is the line passing from one cylinder to the other, at a right angle to the crankshaft, rather than going by the crankshaft's axis. Highly technical sources, such as V. Kosselter's Motorcycle Dynamics, or Gaetano Coco's Motorcycle Design and Technology are careful not simply to use the terms longitudinal engine or transverse engine but rather to specify that they mark the engine's orientation based on the crankshaft, and so they will say, 
transverse crankshaft engine or longitudinal crankshaft engine or conversely transversely mounted cylinders in reference to the classic BMW orientation with a longitudinal crankshaft and cylinders at a right angle to the axis of the frame topic <laughs> transverse crankshaft mounting The engine can be mounted in transverse crankshaft position as on Harley-Davidson's, Ducatis and many recent Japanese motorcycles. This layout produces a twin-cylinder motorcycle engine that is little or no wider than a single. A narrower engine can be mounted lower in the frame with handling benefits. A disadvantage of this configuration for air-cooled engines is that the two cylinders receive different air flows and cooling of the rear cylinder tends to be restricted. Cooling problems are somewhat mitigated by having all four sides of each cylinder exposed to air flow. This differs from a parallel twin cylinder engine which has a distinct front, back, and sides, but the inside of each cylinder is not exposed to air flow as the cylinders are typically joined together with a cam chain running up through the block in between the cylinders. Some transverse V twins use a single carburetor in the middle of the V angle to feed both cylinders. While this allows an economy of parts, it creates further cooling problems for the rear cylinder by placing its hot exhaust port and pipe at the back of the cylinder, where it may be exposed to less cooling airflow. Some cooling strategies of transverse crankshaft 90 degrees V-twins <laughs> Longitudinal crankshaft mounting The longitudinal crankshaft two-cylinder V is seen on Moto Guzzi's and some Hondas is less common. This orientation is suited to shaft drive, eliminating the need for a 90 degrees bevel gear at the transmission end of the shaft. A longitudinal crankshaft engine fits neatly into a typical motorcycle frame, leaving ample room for the transmission, and cooling is facilitated by cylinder heads and exhausts protruding into the airstream. Longitudinal crankshaft mounting is associated with a torque reaction that tends to twist the motorcycle to one side on sharp acceleration or when opening the throttle in neutral and in the opposite direction on sharp deceleration. Many modern motorcycle manufacturers correct for this effect by rotating flywheels or alternators in the opposite direction to that of the crankshaft. Automobile <inaudible> use. <inaudible> <inaudible> BSA made a V-twin car starting in 1921, then introduced a three-wheeler in 1929. V-twin engines, adapted from motorcycles, were featured in Morgan three-wheelers made from 1911 to 1939. Morgan introduced a new Morgan three-wheeler in 2011. A number of Morgan-inspired models are produced today including the Triking Cycle Car, which uses a Moto Guzzi V-Twin, the Ace Cycle Car, which uses a V-Twin Harley-Davidson engine, and the JZR which uses engines from the Honda CX series. Mazda made 356cc and 571cc V-Twins beginning in 1960 for the Mazda R360. V-Twin engines installed in automobiles Topic commercial use Commercial equipment such as pressure washers, lawn and garden tractors, tillers, generators and water pumps use V-twin engines when the equipment is large enough to need more power, usually in excess of 16 horsepower, than can be provided by a single cylinder engine. These V-twin engines have horizontal or vertical crankshafts, depending on application, usually have 90 degree cylinder angles, and are usually forced air-cooled. These engines have also found use as prime movers in riding scale diesel locomotive models, as well as the power source for homemade motorcycles and light aircraft. Manufacturers of commercial V-twin engines include Briggs & Stratton with its Vanguard, Professional and Intec V-twin series, Honda with its V-twin series engines, Kawasaki with its FD, FH, FS, and FX series, Subaru with its A-series, Tecumseh with its OV691EA and TVT691 engines, and Kohler. See also Flat twin Motorcycle engine List of motorcycles by type of engine